Salutations, my name is Eclipse, EQ for short, and welcome to 100 Days Origins Fabric Edition. In today's video, I went live for over 50 hours on this channel and played Minecraft for 100 days straight in my own custom mod pack based off the Origins mod. With over 40 Origins, I spun a wheel every 10 days to be forcibly changed into different Origins that I would have to deal with. Some are allergic to water, some literally just explode, some teleport you into the void, some are allergic to water, did I mention most of them are allergic to water? And one of them is a crab. J J one of them's a crab. My goal is to defeat all the bosses in this mod pack, which include, but aren't limited to, this big hand guy. The wither, but every time you look at him, he summons children. A literal rock. And the void shadow. I did this live, so here's a condensed video version for all of you guys to enjoy if you missed it. It gets crazy. If you enjoy my pain, make sure to like and subscribe. And get ready for 100 Days Origins. Fabric Edition. Day one, the first origin I received was the Inchling. He's small, like really small, and he has only five hearts but can climb anything. Now's probably a good time to tell you while I'm mining stone that this is about to be really unfair for me. So to make this a little more possible, I'm giving myself three lives, just in case any stupid origin change happens. But I mean, that wouldn't happen to me. No, no, I'm perfectly safe. When the sun went down, I found this bone structure and looted it for a full set of iron gear on day one. Right next to it, I found a diamond in this barrel. And remember what I said about changing origins every 10 days? Well, I kind of lied. See, for this stream, if people donated, I would have to spin a wheel to do whatever punishment it landed on. One of them being the chat forces an origin change. They did, and this one landed in my favor because I got Truffle. I would love to tell you what Truffle does, but it doesn't matter, because chat's vindictive little ass found out that it was my favorite origin out of the set, and made me change again. Now we have Cobblestonian, and my life is in shambles. Welcome to day two. The Cobblestonian has double health and can eat rocks. Amazing, right? Well, he's also slow as dick and can't jump to save his life or my sanity. And since I'm a rock boy now, I dug a hole into a mountain to make do as my house. I can literally eat the walls of my home if I get hungry. I think it's perfect. Later that day, I went to go mine because I'm never gonna go hungry down there. Eating cobblestone is a double-edged sword though, cause trying to bridge or block jump now goes a little something like this. I mean, honestly, this would be good for like fighting. Not him, not him. Place the door! Place the door! Going inside! Giant ogre! More like... Nope, sir! Stop eating the blocks and place them! Fuck! Dude, the cobblestonian can't get over the fucking moss carpet! This is stupid! I fucking hate it here! I fucking hate it here! <laughs> so much! Day three, despite how bullshit maneuvering has become, I found an underwater cave, and with tons of doors, I got up to mining all the ores down there. I even found some gobber, and then I ruined it. There she is! Ah! My sweet, sweet gobber. Do I need that? Fuck! I need diamond to break gobber! I'm a fucking idiot. I had to go find diamonds to actually grab the gobber, but by the end of day three, I got my first bit. There was tons of gobber in this cave and even a little bit of Orcalion. Day four, all of this gobber is going into making our first set of gear and tools, but you need nine gobber, one iron, one diamond, and one gold to make any gobber ingots. So I'm gonna need a lot of them. And mining today went really well. I can't wait to stop being a cobblestonian and eat my entire block supply that I'm trying to jump with. Stop eating them. So stop eating them, you glutton! No! Don't summon a child! Attack of the Killer Beast. What is that, Meme Meme? Thank you for the fuck! No! Oh, he's mad! But he's back? He didn't die? Hey, uh, well, hey, uh, that was an accident. I didn't mean it. <clears throat> yeah, it went well. It went great. I didn't slap a child, you have no proof of that. I also picked up obsidian today, as well as my war glaive. Chat told me to make it, I didn't even know this thing existed. To absolutely fuck up an enderman. Like, I gotta give it to him, this war glaive is really strong. Day five, I found a different goblin, as I butchered the other one, and his trades fucking sucked. I guess that's what I get though for murdering his family. Also, look at this clip. You don't understand the struggle of trying to block jump as a cobblestonian. Just, just witness my pain. Climb! Fuck! All right. Going back to my base. Son of a fucking bitch. 
Day six, I'm back home and I need emeralds. I found tons of iron, gold, diamonds, mithril, or callium, adamite, everything under the fucking sun, but no emeralds. So we're gonna need a Fletcher. And it's boring to chop trees all day, so on stream, I decided to tell a bit of a story to chat. And I thought you'd all get a kick out of it too, so I kept it in. For pretense, one of the bounties on the Wheel of Pain is that I'm to be put into a maid outfit. This maid outfit to be specific. I put on the maid outfit, I am out there, picking up my pizza and I have to respond to this guy as he's flabbergasted. I have to give reasoning as to why I'm in this. And I just look at him and I go, it's a living. He looks at me and goes, yeah, I bet it is. And I took the pizza and I shut the door and I ran away. I ran back to stream and I was like, I'm never talking about this shit again. But here we are and now I'm talking about it again. I should stop ordering pizzas? That's a good idea. Anyways, my pizza gets here in 10 minutes. I traded sticks for emeralds with a Fletcher, and now that I have some gobber, I gotta figure out what to make out of it. I ended up with this hammer that mines in a 3x3 area and a rapier that should pierce through armor. At least that's what chat told me. At the end of the day, I tried to make bread. I'm running out of days as a rock boy, I'm gonna need to eat something other than stone. But I need eggs for that in this mod, and I haven't seen a single chicken on this island. Day 8, I'm out looking for a chicken when I got jump scared by a creeper. <laughs> that didn't scare me. I'm a big boy. That didn't scare me. I'm a big boy. That wouldn't. That couldn't. That can't. I'm a big boy. I found this majestic phoenix, but sadly with no saddle, I just tamed her and left her there for now. And I ended the day with killing a ton of cows for leather to make a gilded backpack to finally have some extra storage. No chickens though. Notice how there were no chickens? At night I headed back in the mines cause with my days running short as a cobblestonian, I thought I might as well make the most of mining and eating rocks indefinitely. I'm not just mining aimlessly though, I'm searching for specifically unobtainium. I promise despite the name, you can actually find this shit, it's just really hard to do so. It's needed to make metallurgium, an alloy that is stronger than diamond and gobber and netherite combined. And since I can just use this hammer to mine a nice 3x3, three three, I went searching. And I found nothing. Well, except near death. Anyways, continuing onward. Ah! Gravity duplicator thorny zombie! Ah, he is thorny! I don't have any food except for one gobber gooey bread! <sighs> no! <laughs> Day 10, I'm actually sitting at the bottom of the ocean because I found out rocks can't drown. Go fucking figure. I'm out of food, but no problem. I could just eat sediments. And by the end of the day, I had a ton of gobber, but no one obtaining it. So I swam back to the surface to place my last snack under me and got ready to spin for a new origin. Nucleons were created as weapons of war by Latonian engineers during the Great War. But after the war ended, the Latonians disappeared, leaving them to Rome. It has been said that they were the Creeper's next generation. Oh good! Nuke! Your body was a built has a built-in way to allow itself to detonate! Bombing, a feature added to a code name Nuke, which unlike Creepers allows you to dive bomb enemies instead of sneaking up on them. Does it still kill me? Homing missiles, you're able to glide into the ground by jumping while in the air. Does it still kill me? Radioactive, you leave a radiation cloud when you die. Cool, that kills me. Redstone fueled. Right click button, you can consume redstone for food. We've got food! Let's go! Hydrophobia! I'm in the fucking ocean! <laughs> Guys! <laughs> Chat! I'm in the fucking ocean! Dude! I am now a Nuclean. The perks of being a Nuclean are... <clears throat> I'm a fucking bomb. A fucking bomb. If I press this button on my mouse, I fucking explode. Chat suggested I just unbind the key, but I thought it'd be more fun to just always have constant fear of misclicking and poofing out of existence. On top of that, water is deadly now. Great. And I have elytra flight, but that's not a good enough trade-off for fucking exploding. I made it back home without creating Oppenheimer 2 and tallied up all the ores from my previous mining expedition. I ended the day making an atomite pickaxe. 
Having Elytra and that being my only perk, I decided that the Nucleon job besides not killing itself would be to find a base, so I set off very carefully rowing my boat to the new land. And I immediately found a village with a saddle in a chest. So I backtracked right back home to pick up my Phoenix friend. Day 13, we took to the skies on Pyrolite. That's her name. If you get the reference, I'll be really impressed. However, I put Pyrolite's life instantly at risk by flying up to this airship. Ah! In this airship, there's a lot of good loot for my goblin brain to collect, that is, if I don't die trying to get it. Ooh, shit. See ya. That's all we're getting. Damn, that's fucking bad. No totem. Where's my bird? I barely got out of there by the skin of my radioactive teeth, and day 14 luckily went a lot smoother. I just found a lot of villagers and even managed to pick up a runic tablet. I kept flying around till I found this plateau of flowers, which besides being laggy, will be a perfect place to base up. And then it started raining. Remember that I'm allergic to water? Thomas, run the clip. So, oh, you need, we're gonna need a lot of runic tablets and to find this sword, the slumbering lich blade. No, 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 no! Holy shit, that was close. And now I'm trapped in a hole till morning, so there's no way to go but down. I know I've dug a lot in this 100 days so far. I've been mining like the entire time, but it's literally raining outside and my bomb ass is not having it. So I broke into a cave and kept looking for riches. And I can't believe it. In fact, I almost overlooked it, but I found this. Well, hold on. <gasps> a two vein? I mined it with my Atomite pickaxe and then, dodging all the homies, cause I'm fucking lazy and don't wanna fight them properly. Do 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 do. There's a fucking baby skeleton that fucking sucks by now. A boop a doop a doop. God damn it, that's more unobtainium. Fine, I guess I'll fight you. I need a bow. Hey, anyone ever thought baby skeleton is like bullshit? Cause I agree. More babies, we need less babies. Why are they so strong? Don't shoot, mother don't shoot your child. Ah! Day 15, I'm still down here and I found a mine shaft, looted it for all it's worth, neat. Then day 16, I nearly died again. I should keep a door in my hotbar. Problem about the wood, I panicked because it started raining. Turned every bit of log I had into son of a bitch! Okay, this hydrophobic shit is getting really old. I found a baby spider, and I hate that. I, nope, I don't like that. Mm -mm, nope, Thomas, get it off the screen. I was able to go back to the surface later today because it finally stopped pissing death from the heavens, and my first order of business was to make a gobber bow. This was like a bow on steroids and will pack a punch. Hey, I really hope you don't mind, but I'm starving to death. I'm gonna eat your cookies while sitting on top of you. All right, goodbye. Day 17, I'm back at the airship, cheesing more stuff from it, cause no spawners are gonna trigger during the day. And I only have so much longer with this origin to do so, which I'm not complaining about. I've almost pressed the fuck it, you die button about a hundred times. Those who are at the live stream will remember the pain. I did get more diamonds and other cool shit like that. Some golden apples, some enchants, but nothing really substantial. I then headed back home to spend my last few days making an actual base instead of four chests in a field of laggy flowers. Using the masonry workbench, I made a special chiseled amethyst and verdite, and I made a couple platforms to work as my base. I'm focused more on survival this 100 days and taking out the void shadow and his lackeys than base building, so it's not gonna look like much, but if it's functional, that's all I need. Day 19 was the same as day 18, just building more of my base. And day 20 on my final day as a bomb, it rained again. Anal sex gaming? Dude, you can't talk about my second channel like that. People will find out about it. So we now have a mine really far down into the earth. No, 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 we're gonna use it. And we're gonna use it right fucking now. I want to not be a bomb anymore. I want to not be a fucking bomb anymore. I sat in a hole till my origin could change and we rolled again to get Dragonborn. As a dragon, I keep my elytra. I have more natural defense, but I'm a carnivore and a little bit slower. But specifically, all my food now is obsolete. 
To contradict this, I made a full set of Gobber gear, which will always feed me if I'm wearing it. And what better place for a dragon to go to than literal hell? I lit my portal on day 21, but before hopping in, we're gonna need to enchant a bit. I really want infinity on this Gobber bow if I'm gonna go tackle hell. I enchanted as much as I could, but it wasn't in the cards for me. Not a problem though, because if I find a Bastion, I can just trade with Piglins for arrows. Stop. There is money. You care about money? I will, I will end you. I will end you. You better start caring about money. You got seconds. You got seconds, my, f all right. Hey friend, you care about money. Go in the pit, go in the money pit. Go in the money pit. Money pit's lovely, you love the money pit. Money, 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 money. Ancient debris, got it, running. Nope, nope, nope. Your saturation is full. I'm in gobber armor. It always will be. Oh! Going this way. Running. I'm leaving now. Getting out of here. Getting the fuck out of here. Getting the fuck out of here. Getting the fuck out of here. Okay, shit's going bad. Even though I'm strong as fuck as a dragon, I'm still getting rolled by these piglins and piglin brutes. So I got the fuck out of there and headed to this other blackstone structure. It's a pit-like box in the lava with a pillar in the center. And by mining the eye block, yup, it's boss time. Moving as he hits hard, but I have this, I have that. That's very helpful. I don't get to heal till I get forcibly healed though. Fuck. All right, next time I can fly away. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, you're halfway fucking dead. What is that move? Running, 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 running! Do not send Jesus after me! Fuck off! You're dead! You're dead! You can't fucking see me because you're dead! And I can't see because you gave me blindness. Killing that guy gives me the blazing eye. I'll need that for later, but for now I'm keeping it in my back pocket. Also, when the gauntlet explodes, he burst into five ancient debris, so I picked up all those and made my way back home. Day 23, I went back to making a proper mine for my base. It's in a really inconvenient place at my base, and any sane person would fix it or just move it so this doesn't happen. I'm gonna go buy some- ah, no, 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 You can buy merch at eqshop.live. I'm gonna die if I keep doing this. Hold on. But this is Eclipse, and I'm not a very smart or sane person. I left it. Chat, I'm gonna go take a- No, 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 Chat, I'm gonna go take a pee break is what I was trying to say, but an Enderman decided that that was too offensive for him. Day 24, I finished up my mine and can now look for more unobtainium. So I made Orcalium picks to last a lifetime and got to work. Day 25, my footage looks like it came off of a 2003 camcorder and should be playing Bring Me to Life by Evanescence in the background. Wake me up. It stays like this till day 30 because my PC had a conniption while trying to stream and record at the same time. So sorry about that. But I'll sum up these days really fast so you don't gotta look at absolute shit. Basically, in day 26 through day 30, I mined a lot of ore, fought a skeleton, broke my whole fucking game, nearly died like every day in this project, got kyber ore that's useless, made a time in the bottle that I'll never use, and built a lot of my base. Okay, back to good footage. Day 31, my time as a dragon has ended. Kinda sad that I had to waste most of it and didn't get this origin later on to, you know, use it on the dragon or the wither, but now well. I spun the wheel again, and it landed on Dimensional Being. This guy's a bitch to explain, but I'll try to sum it up for you. Basically, he's immune to lava, but only in the nether, takes no fall damage, and if you press their ability, they will change dimensions at the push of a button, swapping between the overworld and the nether. So besides being able to do this, Wait, am I on the nether ceiling? That's kind of sick. 
At this point in the stream, my computer was screaming, so I did sadly have to turn off the shaders just to get it to stop lagging. I blame those flowers. I'd rather have frames over shaders though, so just bear with me on this. Or yell at me in the comment section about it, whatever. Fuck you, heart. The main meat and potatoes of day 31 was this village. I need mending on my gear if I want it to not break, and I still don't have infinity, so it's time to economize. Or at least it would be if I had space to do so. So I went back to my house with the plans of or, or get it, wait a minute. I'm fireproof. The end of the day, it started raining again, so I enchanted my gear with water protection to let me survive the rain for a couple seconds and silk touch on my pick because it's time for gobber. Let me explain. For some reason, and Thomas can pull this up online, it literally says if you silk touch gobber and place it in the nether, it will turn into nether gobber, which is the next tier after the blue stuff. So I'm gathering as much as I really can to turn a profit and get better gear. And once I was done, I TP'd from the cave straight into the bedrock. So I was too low in the caves of the overworld and when it translated to nether numbers, that was just death. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you, I'm just gonna let you see mine in chat's reaction. The void, huh? The void! <laughs> I'm gonna elect and say that one is one of our first lives. That's fine. I'll, I will use a life for that. I'm fine with that. But what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? You see why I said we have three lives? Do you see? That's the reason. <laughs> oh, Christ. All of chat decided not to count it, so we didn't. But don't worry, I'll get my just desserts soon enough. By the way, I was fucking lied to. None of the gobber changed magically to nether gobber. So that was all a fucking scam. Silver lining, I'm fireproof. So I jumped into the lava sea and broke my way into the netherrack. I mined for nether gobber, making sure to silk touch it to get full ores. What I didn't know is that you can't make nether gobber without ancient debris as well. I did manage to find some, even more on day 34, and while sifting through JEI, I found out that using a pulverizer, I can make an ore doubler that will break ancient debris down into dust and double that shit. So now I only need like 12 ancient debris to have anything. While mining, I broke into a nether fortress accidentally. That saves me from finding one later. And I opened a barrel and found this, the Storm Jolt Twin Blade. It's really fast and gives me speed and resistance for like half a second when I use it. I use this twin blade to kill a wither skeleton who gave me cursed drop Droplets upon death. They are gonna be really, really important later. But for now, these withers are kinda kicking my ass. And I'm here for ancient debris, not a spank from daddy, so I dipped. Day 35, I made my way back home slowly and enchanted my pickaxe with Vein Miner. I bet so many people were telling me to add Vein Miner in the comments. Well, I did, you just have to earn it, okay? It's an enchant in this mod pack. Fuck you, I made the mod pack, I say what goes. Now that I have Vein Miner on a pickaxe, I've got Netherite and Nether Gobber. I'm set. So day 36, it was time to sit back at the base for a bit and do some organization. <laughs> Look at chat, you can just see how excited they are. Everyone loves the organization bit, man. So that's what I did. Day 36, organization. Moving tons of chests and building a simple storage system to access everything without ever having to find any of it. Oh, it's lovely. I dug the chest underground to keep it discreet and the whole system got finished in one beautiful day of organization. Day 37, I've ajazzled my backpack and now it can hold more slots. And speaking of gems, it's time for a smelter. I'm making the smelter set up to melt down all my mythic metals like Orcalium, Atomite, Zinc, Metallica. <laughs> Using these blast furnaces and pipes, I can pulverize the ores and smelt it right out. Hey, look friends, I'm just gonna ignore them and maybe they'll go away. Do 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 Hello, comrades. Did you know that you can go to a clip shop? Nope. Did you know that you could go to eqshop.live and and buy some lovely merch like this sixty-nine sign shirt? Just don't kill me. By the end of the day, the pulverizic omaticanator doubled the ancient debris and the pillagers got fed up with me, so I killed them and got the bad omen effect. Day 39, my gobber gear has shattered because I didn't get mending yet, so I had to result to making more. And right after, I fell down this pit, but it's all good though, because I'm a dimensional being and I don't take any fall damage.
Okay, this is the death we actually count, and chat agrees. It wasn't BS, my dumb ass just fell in a stalactite and my dimensional self fucking disintegrated. So with that, we are down to two lives. Day 40, I tried to go home, but it's raining, and apparently all my fucking origins just collapsed at the mere sight of a cold bottle of Dasani. So I sat in this cave until... Elytrian. I have wings and can zoom into the sky, but I can also only wear up the chainmail armor, so my new gobber that I just made, yeah, it's fucking useless. I took it off for now and adorned gold because it was the best that I could have that I can actually wear. Day 41, I tried to make a tree axe, but fucked up and made a normal axe, so now I have two. I also made a new nether scythe for a weapon in the making, and a nether hammer, because I broke my gobber one back in the nether. And day 42, I'm chopping trees, because if I'm going to be this fragile as an elytrian, it's time for stonks. And to kick off the economy, I picked up a couple locals. Literally. Yoink. And there's a baby, and it's fast! <laughs> Zoomy child! Oh, mama's here! Oh, shit! Dude, this is a problem because I'm in gold. Day 43 through 44, I'm trying for mending books from all my sla uh, clients. Yes, clients, not slaves. They are clients. But before mending appeared, I finally got infinity and these. Got it. Nope, nope, nope. Books, books, books. Sharpness seven, baby! Seven! You make seven! And finally, I found mending at the end of day 44, which is really great, because chat was eager to fuck me over, and immediately as it turned to day 45, they spun the wheel, and what could it possibly land on as I'm in a pit underground in the dirt? Woo! I hate all of you. I hate all of you so much. So as a merling, I'm a god of the water, but I can't even fucking think about oxygen. And since I was just an elytrian, all my gobber gear is back up in that storage system. My ghetto ass solution is pouring a bucket of water over my head to breathe and make my way back up the mountain. I'm, this is not a joke, this is what I did. There were so many creepers for no reason and they scared the shit out of me, but I didn't cry because I'm a big boy. Fish, water, zoom. That's about it. I will say it's super cool to have complete different styles of gameplay. Like I went from soaring through the skies, digging through the very core of the earth and tell being a bomb, all to being a shiny sparkly loot goblin fish at the bottom of the sea. I even found a dog down here. I'm not questioning that. And I found an enchanted gapple. Day 47, I'm stuck swimming down here till day 50 when I get to change again. So in the meantime, with all the fish perks, I want to try and capitalize on this origin and take out the Elder Guardian. Usually the Elder Guardian is the easiest fight in Minecraft, but that's not how this stream went. Day 48 and 5,000 blocks in the water traveled, I found this. I feel like the sheer size of this should foreshadow what's about to happen, but I'm just going to show you the first fight and let you decide. Well, that's one. Holy shit, there's a lot of you guys. There's a lot of boys in here. He fucking regens. This is actually a boss fight and not just a rolling contest. Taking it. Bulking, bulking. Kill them. He's dead. Holy shit. Okay, now what the fuck was that? See, I installed a mod called Progressive Bosses. It changes all the vanilla Minecraft bosses to get harder every time you fight another one. And specifically, Elder Guardians drop trident shards when killed. 
meaning I need to take out three to make a full trident. The second fight was a little more challenging, but not too bad. However, in the center of the fortress was the final guardian. And we're gonna have to condense the fight down as it went on for literally the entirety of day 49. But here's the hardest guardian I've ever fought in Minecraft. Sea urchin looking motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm talking to you too, big boy. All right, we can't let him stay too long. This is gonna hurt. Okay. Shit, I can't do anything in here. Oh, fuck you, man. There's too many. Will you come and attack, dickheads? Take you out one by fucking one. There's with like 400 of you in here. Doesn't really make it fair. Literally a fish origin. And I'm still getting my ass kicked here. There's just so many, this is so bullshit. This is impossible. This is actually fucking impossible. You made an impossible Elder Guardian fight game. Good job, fuck you, you're a piece of shit. I, I don't think I can win this. There's nothing I can do. There's literally nothing I can do. They spawn way too many and they just keep spawning them. And I can't, I can't do anything. In fact, it's gonna start lagging the game how many of this fucker's spawning. There's nothing I can do. You're gonna die. You're literally gonna die. This shit's awful. Get your god apple. I haven't gotten them low enough. Oh, neat. I can't even hit him. Game's lagging. Seven, six, three, commit. Go in. Get out. That's three. Fuck off. I'm done. I'm leaving. I won. Woo -hoo -hoo! No, 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 wrong way. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to barge in on you guys where you're all mourning the loss of your fucking king. I didn't, I didn't mean it. I, I fucking apologize. Day 50. It's time for an origin change. And with all the guardians axed, I really don't have another reason to stay in this water. So I'm glad that whenever I spun the wheel, it landed on... Crab. Fuck! Play the song of your people and rave for your valor. Krusty, you're a bit shorter and much whiter than a human. Your arms are 35% sh Are you fucking, are you fucking kidding me? Legs and chillipeds, your legs move much faster in the water and you deal additional damage when wet. Crawler. You descend down to the water until you stand and walk on its floor, but move quite fast while walking. You can occasionally muster strength to swim for a brief period of time. I can't swim? Pincers. Melee weapons are half as effective because you're of your pincers. You deal more damage with your pincers. This is the worst origin I've ever fucking heard of. You have, nat you're, you have a natural layer of armor. A woo fuckity woo. Crustacean gills. You have a much higher oxygen capacity, but you require moisture to breathe. You, you lose your breath in very hot climates, including the nether. Four levels of fire protection will allow you to remain cool. So, if you didn't get that, as a crab, I cannot swim. I cannot breathe underwater, because I need air sometimes. Oh, and I can't breathe on land, because I need water sometimes. Oh, but, but hold on. Hold on, it's not that bad. On specific beach biomes, I can sometimes dance. And on day 51, I tried to dance, only to find out that it's fucking broken. The only perk of being a shitty ass beach crab doesn't even work. I can't even crab rave. So I can sit here for the next three hours and just dance between the water and land, or we can make this video actually entertaining and get a mulligan. Chat even agreed, so don't get mad at me. I get a reroll. So at the end of the day, I rerolled into a ghastling. Gastling. Sometimes when ghasts are born from the fires of the nether, they are changed. Some decide to leave the nether and enter the feared overworld. Fireball! Uh, primary launches fireballs. Nice. Large appetite. We need a lot of food. Gashes made of gas being extremely lightweight. And my predecessors were large balls of gas. I inherited some of that. I can shoot fireballs and I glide. You thought you were a leather worker? That's really cute. You don't even have a fucking home anymore, dickhead. You're coming with me. I did not mean to break their entire house, but I did. 
As a ghast, I decided to finish what the Elytrians started, getting enough emeralds for infinity and fortune. What? Fucking what, mate? You fucking what, mate? You got a fucking fortune fight, you do? Fucking four, 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 five fortunes. Five fortune five. Five. Well, I need a fuck ton of XP to put on all these books now. So I tried to rack my brain about how to grind for XP really quick. I have seven days as a ghast, and after, it could all go downhill. So I had to move fast. And my plan brings me back to the nether. And remember those cursed drops? Well, now I need three more. With infinity, these wither skeletons dropped like a bag of bones. God, that was such a fucking bad joke. One even dropped another soul star. That's a surprise tool that will help us later. Day 54 rolls around and I've got the cursed droplets and I made them into cursed seeds. And let me explain what these bad boys can do. So I'm building a box that drains all the mobs into one spot with water and covering the ground in dirt specifically. Then right clicking the dirt with the cursed seeds turns it into cursed earth. This will spread to all the dirt and spawn cursed versions of every type of mob, which would be a problem if spikes weren't an option. Day 56, it works. And since the dirt spreads, it's only going to become faster and more efficient. I spent day 56 just sitting by it, looking at all of my XP levels just increase rapidly. And now it's finally time for some proper upgrades. Day 57, with all my nether gobber, I made a nether claymore and put sharpness seven on it. Though, and I wasn't joking, look how efficient my mob farm is. There's just so much carnage. If I go over here and I get to 50, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, only 45. There's just so much death. There's just so much death over there. There's just so much death. There's just so, it's too much. It's too much. I'm leaving. We have other things to do because it's time to make some good fucking gear. Finally. Later in the night, I barricaded myself in to get levels because outside was a super blood moon and I didn't even know blood moons could be super. In one night, I went from like level 30-ish to 65. 60 fucking five. Day 58, and with the help of chat and all these levels, I was told to invest in a dark enchanter, which basically lets you put whatever enchants you want on a weapon for an unreasonable amount of XP. And I just happen to have a machine that makes an unreasonable amount of XP. The first thing I maxed out is my Metallurgium Pickaxe, and named it the classic EQ's Dick Pick, because I have the humor of a 12-year-old. Day 59, I'm just going back and forth from the mob farm and maxing out all my gear and new weapons. Like, like just look at how fast I gain levels. Like, holy fuck. Day 60, we've reached a crazy stream bounty for me to paint my nails on stream. And yes, I'm in the maid outfit aforementioned. Glad you noticed. Please don't make fun of my technique in the comments below. I've never painted my nails while grinding on a mob farm in a maid outfit on a 50 hour live stream before. But besides becoming fabulous, I made a fucking crazy sword at the end of day 60. Sharpness seven, fucking unbreaking five, mending, fire aspect, Jesus. And it was time to put it to good use as my next origin will fight the wither. Let's just hope we get something good. A group of little furry birds that enjoy the ice, snow, and the murder of fish. Happy feet. You're 0.25 blocks shorter than a human. Your flightless wings provide more attack speed, but less reach. Cold embrace. You're quite resistant in snowy biomes, but weaker and slower the warmer the biome. Four to eight levels of fire protection will grant you safe passage through any biome. Belly sliding. I gotta go to the nether. Guys. Your belly is frictionless in colder environments, allowing you to flop onto your belly and slide. Activate with button four. Okay. Fragile, you have three less hearts, just like usual. Fuzzy fur, the nether sets your fur of flame unless you're wearing eight levels of total fire protection. You take double the damage from fire-based sources unless wearing four levels of fire protection. Eight levels, is that like fire protection four twice? Aquatic diet, you can only eat seafood and it sustains you much further. You don't suffer any negative positive effects from seafood. You can fuck your dad. What? Webbed feet, swim much faster, take less fall damage, but much slower when it's not very cold. You can equip fast walker boost to maintain the same speed regardless of biome. Aquatic lunge, every 10 seconds you are able to perform an underwater lunge. Fish hunter, exceptionally high oxygen capacity, deal far more damage while underwater. This penguin, hey, I got a, I got a penguin. I gotta, keep it together, EQ. This penguin hates the heat. I mean, duh, all penguins do. He's got less health and he needs fire protection to even survive in the nether. 
and I need Wither Skulls. Using the Dark Enchanter, I took protection off all my gear and threw on fire protection, then attempted to waddle my fat penguin ass to the nearest nether fortress. By day 62, I had pillared up and bridged my way over and went to go get the skulls. I have looting five on my sword now, so this shouldn't be too hard. Or at least it wouldn't be if it wasn't for me needing six, count them, six nether stars for gear and such in this mod. The Gobber mod doesn't lend itself well to Wither Skeletons and stuff, but I have a solution. This mod pack has Wither Skeleton tweaks, and with it, every Wither Skeleton's death gives you a fragment of their skull. Using nine of those, you make a skull. So all we need is <clears throat> 162 fucking Wither Skeletons, and then we're fine. <sighs> we're gonna be here a while. On stream, I contemplated doing a shot of whiskey and getting comfy. So I asked Google to flip a coin, and I promise you I would not be telling you if she just said heads or tails. This is what Google actually said when I asked her to flip a coin. Okay, hey Google, give me heads. Here's the definition of give someone heads. No! <laughs> Quadrilateral hedron is just oh, four. <laughs> it's that's just a uneven cube. Who is striking me with lightning? I'll have you know I am a black belt in crying, and it's my birthday. It gets boring killing all these wither skeletons, so in my meantime, I'm also looking for purposes to these nether stars. I actually found out that with ender pearls, emeralds, and a nether star, you can make an origin orb, which will let you change your origin. Hmm. Please make my life a little easier by dropping a wither skull. One of you. Shit! That worked! What the fuck? Actually, getting wither skulls did speed up the process a bit, and by the end of day 66, I had gone on an hour long murderous rampage to finally get enough wither skulls. I finished up by grabbing some soul sand and went home to prep death. Day 67, I made a better bow, and thank god I have the Dark Enchanter now. Cause while it was gone, a virus seemed to break out, and absolutely fuck half my villagers. <coughs> Sorry, there was something in my throat, guys. My bad. Anyways, nighty night! Day 68, I was fully prepared for whatever the wither would throw at me, and in turn, dug into the core of the earth and summoned the demon. Okay, well he wasn't that bad, but that wasn't great either as a penguin. But to get a new set of gobber, we have to keep going, so I spawned me another one. Holy shit. Whoa! Holy shit! Damn, these withers hurt. I made a chest plate and pants of nether gobber, but I'm gonna need to be a stronger origin than penguin to fight any more of these guys. I'm not complaining though, cause that's perfect timing. Look at that day counter at the top left. Every 100 days on day 69, I build a sign to commemorate the funny sex number. And we've had a lot of good signs in the past, but this one I wanted to make special. This is not a 69 sign. This, this is the first ever 69 shrine. I made an altar honoring the blessed funny sex number, and if you remember, this stream was done live, so to commemorate everyone that donated to support the channel during the stream, I put everyone's name in this book at the head of the altar of the first ever 69 shrine. 
And I just want to take a moment to thank all these lovely names. Your support cannot be appreciated enough. Like this is not a bit. Thank you. You all were ungodly supportive. Now with the best addition to our base, day 69 is up and I spent the night of 69 going to heat up some pizza and chat was devastated at what came next. The bird died. They killed the fucking bird. I just wanted some pizza, man. In shambles, I did a shot for my lost bird. Pyrolite, you will be missed. And it was time to change origins once more. I rolled and got Tauros. That's a bit stronger. The Tauros is fast, bulky, with 15 hearts instead of five, and stubborn as a mule. And with an extra buff, I summoned that wither before nightfall and went to steal another star. No way. He bopped me. He bopped me. We're down to one life. Oh, shit. After that death, I'm down to one life. This isn't like a Mario game. I don't get life zero. If I lose, it's over. The wither is too strong, and after death, I'm forced to change origins again. So I'm a fucking slime now. I'm backed into a corner here, and I need a plan or this 100 days is gonna end soon. Day 71, I thought about getting totems. I need some kind of safety net, or there's no way in hell I can take out the Ender Dragon, let alone the Void Shadow, let alone another Wither. I started racking my brain for anything I could use to make or find to give me an edge as a slime, whose attributes, by the way, are low attack, no damage with a bow, and bouncy. So it's not looking good. Then it hit me. I jumped into the Twilight Forest. I wasn't gonna do that because those bosses are all played out and I've done them like a hundred times, but now they're integral to winning. The first boss is the Naga, a long serpent that charges and falls over quickly. Okay, well, one down. You may be confused as to what these bosses have to do with me being able to withstand a wither or the rest of this 100 days. Well, after I kill the Twilight Lich, I'll tell you. None of these are the right one. There he is. I know how you work, bitch. You think I haven't fought you before? Where you at? Oh, he's angry. I've never seen an angry one of them. Bring out the dead. He's dead. Fuck you, bitch. Day 73, I've made my way to the Mino Shroom Maze, and at the center is a boss room, which upon death will drop the maze map focus. You can use it to make a map of the maze and steal all the secret loot, or take it home for now to make the uncrafting table. This boss fight was pathetically easy, and I took home the focus. I could have left right here and gone back home, but then I remembered a very rare item that sometimes spawns in ice queen chests, the charm of life. It sounds like a totem of undying, and that's because it is. And with only one life left, I really need that safety net. To get to the Snow Queen's temple, though, I need to take out the Alpha Yeti, and as a slime on ice, it didn't go so well. Ugh. Got him. Oh, I'm a fucking slime. No wonder I, I can't get to the loot in the middle. Because as a slime, ice is insane. 
Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. Getting out of here. It's like the fucking ice puzzles in Pokemon. Jesus Christ. After that fiasco, I infiltrated the Queen's base, where I had my heart set on the charm of life. I searched every chest I could, but found something that I never expected to get. Oh, fuck me. This sword does 40 damage in attack, but it's made of glass and will break instantly. Even with the mending, this thing is useless after one or two smacks with unbreaking. I pocketed it anyway. That 40 damage could come in handy at some point. Got it. Got it. We're leaving. Got it. See ya, bitches. And there it is. And with that, I had everything I needed. No need to actually fight the queen. I just ran back home to execute my plan to save this hundred days. Day 75, with a charm of life, I tried my hand once again at the wither. Now being a level four, since this was the fourth time I summoned him. But with the glass sword by my side, I really thought I stood a chance. Well, I'll let you see for yourself what happened. I don't like that he could just get up there. Fine. I can do shit too, Wither. You're not fucking special. What, you gonna chase me? What you gonna do? Oh, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna get mad I'll chase me. Ooh. You do what? You do what? You didn't leave to the void, did you, my guy? That's... Hey, that's... That's awkward! That's awkward, buddy! Maybe don't fucking cheat! Maybe don't fucking cheat! This is really satisfying after what you did to my fucking Taurus origin. This is great. I'm so happy. Sayonara, you son of a fuck. Uh, what? What? what uh, does this count as a win? I'm not fighting a fucking wither now that can break bedrock. I mean, that seems a little fucked, not gonna lie. I mean, but hey, I lived, not dead. Ah, fuck it, I'm counting it. Day 76. And that means I can breathe a little. Day 76, let's make that uncrafting table. Using the map focus and eight crafting tables, we can make a table that will unmake anything. You may already see where I'm going with this. I broke down my nether gobber gear back into its base nether stars, namely the pants. I wanted a full set of nether gear, but if it's gonna be this hard to get nether stars, I'll have to take what I can get. And with that nether star, I made my ace in the hole, an orb of origin. With this, I have the ability to change origins whenever I please. The question is now, when do I use it? Day 77, my PC calmed the fuck down on the final day of streaming and the overlay is gone. So now you can see the 100 days in all of its normal glory. Okay, so let's recap. That's the Wither, Guardian, and Nether Gauntlet. The next step is to go to the end. So I'm in a warped forest trying to get Endermen to drop their eyes. But the Begone Nether mod has kind of fucked me for that too. These warped Endermen do drop pearls, yes, but they can't turn into Ender Eyes. No problem, I'll just head back to the overworld, get Endermen there, and it's fucking raining. Why is it always raining in this fucking video? I... I'm sick of being struck by lightning in the middle of the fucking day. Okay, okay, all right, I get why. I understand why now. I figured it out. I figured out why I was struck by lightning. It makes sense. It, I've cracked the code. I get it. I understand. Stop. What the fuck? Chad, I just want Pender Earls. That's just a man. That's just a dude. That's. Do you have Ender <laughs> I didn't look at his balls. I didn't look at his balls. I did, there's no you you don't have proof. You don't have proof that I looked at his nutsack. You don't 
you don't have proof that I looked at his nutsack. I did manage to find Enderman at the tail end of day 78. Day 79, and with only one day left as a slime, I wasn't eager to go fight another boss. So I just sat here the rest of the day and grinded levels, awaiting my new, hopefully less gelatinous form. Day 80, I spun the wheel again, and Iron Golem. Now that's something I can get behind. The Iron Golem is slow, big, and bulky, but with double the health bar, higher defense, that's a good trade-off. You do need to eat iron, but with a gobber suit, I don't need to eat anything. So ha, get fucked, I win. And since I'm an iron golem, I think it's the best time to knock out some more bosses. Remember those soul stars that keep dropping from enemies? Well, now I have four. So I threw the first one like it's an ender eye, but without pyrolite, I had to walk to it. Even with multi-jump, the iron golem is still slow as dick and... <gasps> you! I will save you, Zarptak. <laughs> That's a blood moon. That's a blood moon. Hey, we gotta go. If you're gonna love me, you should do it now. I like to think this is Pyrolite resurrected. I mean, cause they're a phoenix and phoenixes do that. And that makes me happy. I rode on Pyrolite all night till I found this. Gotcha. Pyrolite, come back. Come back. Yes. Day 81, I found what I was looking for. The Night Lich. He just makes it night? I mean, fair. Like, fair play. They get it and everything. But still, dickhead. Woo! Oh my god, the damage we do as a golem. This is fucked up. The... <laughs> Was that six arrows to kill that man? Was that six arrows? And he's dead. Look at all the fucking books he dropped. Enjoy! That's not it! Ah! This game is gonna give me a fucking heart attack, I swear to God. That boss actually skipped the night cycle when I spawned him, so I'm heading home at night 82 now. But that's all right, I still have plenty of time for the Ender Dragon. Yes, day 83, it's time to finally kill the Ender Dragon. But a two big ton golem versus the end void doesn't sound like a fun time. So for the end fight, I'm using the Lich Animeta and the Blazing Eye to create the Table of Elevation. It gives a five x five area of creative flight and I'm going to exploit the fuck out of it. Day 84, I was ready, so I threw an eye and triangulated the stronghold, yada yada yada. You've seen this a million times in Minecraft videos, I don't have to explain it to you. Only thing to note is that in the stronghold's library was the Spellbook Lunge, and I grabbed it because that's gonna make me broken later. I broke into the stronghold and just bulldozed my way into the portal room with Vein Miner, because fuck looking for that room normally. And day 85, I jumped into the portal and even turned shaders back on for this fight. Dragon's not very happy about my existence. Bro! Bro! That's fucked up! I'm not even on the platform yet! Dragon shot a fucking magic ball at me before I even got here! Alright, bitch, you wanna play dirty? I can play fucking dirty. Come on, fucker. What you want, asshole? Oh, didn't expect me to fucking create a flight, did ya? Did ya, dickhead? Oh! Oh, you weren't expecting me to be an absolute cheesing bastard, were you? Well, you clearly don't subscribe to Eclipse. Which, by the way, you should. Ah, uh, get absolutely rolled, my guy. I'll just be taking this now. Where you at? Let's fucking dance. Oh, you wanna land? You wanna land. You really wanna land right now. Uh, it's fine, I can't get to you anyway. I'm the biggest being of life. What the fuck was that? Where is he? Where'd he fucking go? You're not allowed to- Under the ground! He's under the ground! He's just- He's just throwing a fucking temper tantrum! It's a she. She's just throwing a temper tantrum! Well, temper tantrum's all you want. This bow is fucking godlike. 
Come on, drop your shit. There you go. Where are your crystals? There they are. I'll take these. There it is. That was fucking easy as shit, baby. Well, our end adventure doesn't end here, because we have three more bosses to kill. But first, wings. And this was honestly the most stressful part of the stream so far. I'm a golem, and they aren't fast. And with no way of flying around, I had to pearl my way to each island. And being slow, I can't shuck them very far with that, like, sprint throw technique. So shit like this happened. Fuck! It's not okay. This is not fucking all right. This is, oh, god damn it. You can see I'm in no shit. Wait, he hits me really hard. Found the gobber. Remember the gobber we were talking about? Ah! I did manage to find an end city and it had a ship. Do you think we can wear uh, Elytra in our fucking cape slot? I'm free. Little busy, there is a toxic burning shulker in my vicinity. He is angry, and I think he's horny. Because he keeps shooting his balls at me. Hey! Now that I safely got Elytra, it's time to put the lunge book to use. Day 87, not only did I enchant my Elytra with Unbreaking 5 and Mending, I made the Arcanus Wand and learnt lunge with it which is essentially firework rockets that recharge over time, which is just infinite elytra flight. Who's a slow, fat fucking golem now, huh? D88, I'm back in the end thanks to Waystones, and I'm searching for Chorus Flower and End Gobber for the final upgrade before I'm ready to be a god. D89, I found the Obsidolith boss fight and marked it for later because it's time for my final origin change. The final origin of this video is... Deer, the most fitting one possible. You realize that's how we ended the last 100 Days Origins too, right? That's insane. By the way, I've made another Origins video on 1.16.2 Forge, so you should go watch that one. B but like after this, don't, don't fucking go yet. I'm not done here, don't leave. I'm a deer, meaning I'm fast, bouncy, and with a couple less hearts, but that's okay, because I have one more weapon to really bring us home. I broke down my last Nether Gobber piece to get a Nether Star back. And with the End Gobber, and the nether star, I made a bow, a sword, and fused them together to make the sniper bow. It's a sword that also shoots incredibly fast. Look how fast it shoots arrows! Oh my god! It's a gun! Or a paint tool! Oh, that's so sick! That's so cool! That thing's elite should be illegal to OP. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Now! Now we're fucking. So I'd like to see the wither. I. I drew a flaming cock! Yeah! <laughs> when they ask you why do you subscribe to Eclipse, I want you to just show them this screenshot. That is why you sub to Eclipse. Chad suggested that I go and fight the Hydra in the Twilight Forest, and with extra time on my hands, I thought, might as well. Oh, I didn't eat it! Eat the stroganoff! Eat the stroganoff! Eat the stroganoff! No worries. Stroganoff consumed. <laughs> Was that a duck? Quackling! <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! incredibly easy, and as an arrow hellfire raining flying demon of the skies, that is also a deer, what's stopping me from taking out more? So I went back to the Snow Queen, and I just want to let you watch the carnage. But don't blink, you might miss it. What happened in the couple seconds I was gone? I'm, you missed shit, my guy. You need, you need to learn that you cannot look away from an EQ livestream for even frames. Hello, Snow Queen. Hello, friends! No way they die in one hit! <laughs> 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 
This is not how you're supposed to fight this thing. But I do what I want. Bye, your guest. Okay. We might be getting a little too strong. K93 and a bloodthirsty EQ was looking for more gods to slay, but I couldn't find the Void Blossom as it only spawns in lush caves and the only one for about a million miles is the tiniest lush cave ever. K94, if I can't fight that thing, I'll fight a gilded golem. Only thing we need though are these gilded shards that drop from piglin brutes. So I spent the next couple days trying to get them. You can also apparently get some from trading with piglins and that was a fucking lie. Y'all don't need that, right? Cool, thanks. Hey, enchanted god apple, that is actually helpful. Whoa, Lava Trident. Ah, on day 95, you give me Lava Trident when it doesn't matter anymore. Damn. I'll skip to the end of the day where I found the last Gilded Rock. Got him! Yeah! All right, before we leave, we need something. Uh, these. D95, I built the golem structure and totally didn't fuck it up the first time by building it in the overworld. I don't know what you're talking about. You horse cocksucker! Hey, you! Hey, wake up! Hey, we got shit to do! Oh, you're doing it. Yeah, you're doing great, man. No, you're really killing it. Yeah, no, you got this. No, you really... Yep, good try. Fucking hate everything. Yeah, remember our goal of the Void Shadow? Well, 96 fucking days in of switching origins from a bomb to a crab to a dead bitch to a deer, it's time for the final boss. Actually, I've got three more fights. So I made an Eye of Ender and headed back to the end to summon the Obsidolith. <laughs> and this just isn't even fair. <laughs> oh my. D96, I had some extra time to kill, so I drew subscribe on the wall of my mind. Because you should do that. I mean, if you made it this far, I'm sure you enjoyed the journey, so why not subscribe for all my other shit? Or don't. That's possible. I'll just go fuck myself. Day 97, I cracked my sniper bow out with Crystalline 6, just to learn what it did. I learned it's basically another sharpness, as if I needed more fucking damage. We literally two hit Enderman now. Anyways, important thing was that I made this structure with the dragon egg on day 97, and spawned the penultimate boss, the eye. It's gone, get up. See ya. So it turns out my fucking mod pack didn't have the Void Shadow mod installed. <sighs> Typical EQ moment, honestly. So I fixed that and resummoned the eye. Embarrassed him in front of his friends again. Hello, comrade. It's good to see you again. Your last friend did really well. Yeah, you're doing just 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 about the same. Yeah. Yeah. And finally, that portal takes us to the Void Shadow. I actually fought this boss in my first ever 100 days live that I did multiple years ago. So I found it poetic that we're back here again. But I have one more ball to drop. Day 99, before walking in, my chat took this from me on day one. Stop me from getting to have this the entire video. But now the power is in my hands, and with the Orb of Origin, I changed back into my favorite on day 99, the Truffle. The truffle. Truffles, along with having normal properties of fungi, have the unique ability to adapt to situations on the fly. Magic spores. You can switch, switch between different magic spores. Red cap boost offense, green cap boost defense, and blue cap boost mobility. Changing spores will decrease the abilities of the other two caps. Infestation. Sneak using on a soil. Uh, this is, you just turn it into mycelium, who cares? Rooted, you gain buffs based on the spore you have active when standing on mycelium. We are not gonna be. And, uh, Food doesn't give me any perks. Welcome to the finale. Thank you all so much for watching. So he doesn't take damage. The only way to hit him is to get him to hit himself. And by that I mean his minions have to blow up their own crystals. There's one. So he makes these things that you have to knock them all out before he wakes up again. 
and I assume kill all of his friends. I don't really know. Oh, there was one I missed. Got another one. All right, come on. This is when we finally get to hit him for a bit. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This fight was really underwhelming. At this point, none of the fights were hard because I came a god, but being able to just fly and rain hellfire death lasers in arrow form over the entire arena, the Void Shadow didn't really have oh, a lot fuck. going on. And I don't want to leave this video so on a lame-ass note. So I slashed my sword yet. through the Void Shadow no, one last yet, time, though. killing it. And I had a plan for a proper finale. One more day left. Ante up. He's hittable. He's just immune to arrows. Okay, he dipped it too. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. All right, I think here it is. Oh, fuck! That was not intentional, I promise. Just got a little too close to the sun. It's fine, we got another one. Not gonna lie, you were a lot easier this time around. I mean, if you would die, that is. Well then. That's a little anticlimactic. Day 100, I steeled up the courage for one last wither fight. This is now a level five wither. And here's how it went down. We won't stop going down here. What am I supposed to do? I'm down to keep this as a blooper. Now it's officially a level six wither. So I went up to the surface and redid the fight, reset it completely for a true finale. Thank you so much for watching. My name has been Eclipse, EQ for short, and I'll see you guys next time. Holy shit! He regen so fast! He's about to charge. He's about to dig in the hole. Fine by me. Taking the hits, taking the, taking the hits.
Come on! I'll pop this fucking totem. You think I'm scared? You think I'm scared to make this close? Fuck you! Thank you all so much for watching. My name has been Eclipse. EQ for short. Subscribe. End card here. A lot of people on stream really wanted to see the Nuclean explode, and it turns out if you have a totem of undying, this happens. I thought I'd leave it as just a little bonus at the end of the video for everyone that made it here. So enjoy. Okay, I'm done. Subscribe.